r slash ask reddit by ready reddit cops of reddit what's the most bull sounding excuse you got that actually turned out to be true <laughs> former park ranger first week in the job we pull up and see a couple of kids smoking in their car with the windows down the city has an ordinance against smoking on park property but it is too petty to give them a ticket we approach the car and they are visibly nervous my fto looks through the windows and sees a couple of beer cans in the car bingo we get them out and start running their info they are all underage but old enough to smoke cigarettes my fto asks them where the beer came from the driver says he recycles fto laughs and begins to search the car i'm finishing up running their info and these guys are being really respectful fto finishes searching the cab and goes to open the trunk all of a sudden i hear him bust out laughing he is laughing so hard he can barely breathe he waves me over to look at the trunk of the car, and it is level with crushed cans and bottles. My FTO said that he has heard that excuse for 20 years and this is the first time it was true. He walked up, uncuffed the driver and let him go. I used to work as a military police officer. I was working at the main gate one night and this guy tried to come on base, but he didn't have any ID other than a driver's license, so I couldn't let him on. The guy told me that a general said he could come on, but he didn't have any proof of that and he didn't know what the general's name was. It was also super late at night and he didn't seem to have any answers that would help us identify who he was. Long story short, the dude ended up being legit and was coming on base to be awarded a silver star the next day from that general. My first ever real call was for a flasher at the local park when I got there and finally found him. It was a mentally impaired young man 16 to 17 who had a layer of headphones on and a full poo bear. I said hey man come here what the hell is going on you know you have to keep your pants on especially at the park. He goes on to tell me he had bad itching down his pants and couldn't take it anymore. So he had to rip his pants off and was running home to get help. I said come on you couldn't make it home first. He said no I had ants in my pants. As sure as poo according to more than one witness's account. He had been sitting in a sandbox playing at the park and accidentally on a nest of red ants that had crawled up his pant legs. I'm running booking one night. Guy gets brought in for possessing a truly stupendous amount of drugs. Him talking like two rubber made toads full of shrooms, a huge bag of weed, and enough heroin to overdose half the county. Well, says he, I'm a DEA informant, and they told me to make the drop so they could be there and raid the crap out of everybody and let me go for helping. Aha uh -huh, right. Face left please. Guy is like I'm telling you dude, they're gonna be super pissed that you country retards ducked up their bust. Whatever, get in the holding cell and shut up. About 3 hours later 3 guys show up, DEA agents, they're super pissed that our deputies ducked up by a bust. I go back to the holding cell to let the guy out and he's just like they're super pissed up. Yeah. Told you so. Former cop here. I was behind a vehicle that couldn't stay in the lane, kept swerving, etc. It was 1am and I think another drunk idiot on the road. Pull him over, guy is a straight up a-hole to me. Curse me out, yelling at me and I notice his speech is slurred. I get him out to car and I can smell a fruity smell on his breath and he has to lean against the car for support. I ask him how much he had to drink and he tells me to duck off. By this point I'm ready to bring him in for a DUI but I just had a feeling something wasn't right. I call the MS to come check him. Blood sugar was at 40. Not drunk. Just a diabetic. If I would have arrested him he probably would have died before I finished the paperwork. Go with your gut if something doesn't seem right. Mid July in like 2008. Young kid going 93 in a 55. I swing and he immediately pulls over. Approaching the car, his first words, before I can even start speaking, my dog died, he hung himself. I gotta get back before my mom gets home. What jpeg. Anyway, he calls other family members, his aunt, uncle and two cousins come out to the stop, and between all their sobbing, they verify that the dog had actually hopped over the fence on a leash slash runner and couldn't get back over. Everyone's crying now. They showed me a photo on their phone. Apparently they found the dog and called the kid at work and he just left. 
I didn't even bother verifying further than that. Cousin drove the kid's car back so they could take care of the dog and prepare for more. Some said that I should have wrote him, but losing an animal sucks enough, he knew he ducked up and adding financial burden to him wasn't going to help him or me. I was driving with my fiancé and we went through a roadblock where they checked registration and stuff and we get to the cops and they ask for our registration. I'm sitting in the passenger seat, so I open up the glove box and right there is a clear, unmarked baggie filled to the brim with catnip. I completely forgot it was there and just froze. Why died? I turned to look at the cop shining his light through my open window and he's frozen too, just staring at the baggie with this look on his face like really? I just started immediately professing omg I swear to god this is catnip, you can take it, and smell it, or test it, or whatever like I swear. And at this point it's just so ridiculous that I start cracking up and the cop takes it and reasonably deduces I'm telling the truth and he starts laughing and calls his partner over and tells her what happened and they both just cackled away for a minute and sent us on our way. Cat weed. Good thing they weren't cat cops. You mean claw enforcement? I went to a disturbance at a backyard BBQ once. Turns out it was a bunch of Roma, gypsies. As I was trying to figure out what was going on I had some old lady approach me and want to talk to me off to the side. She told me she was an informant for the FBI and that if I left, she would be able to get some information on a matter the FBI was interested in. I rolled my eyes and thanked her and said I would be out of there as soon as I could make sure there was no violence going on. Anyway I determined it was just verbal, so I cleared the call and went back in service. About 15 to 30 minutes later dispatch radioed me to head back to the station. I got there and got a message to call some FBI field office and ask for a certain agent. I called and sure as poo this agent said he understood I spoke with his informant and wanted to know everything she told me. Blew my mind. Popped a college kid for shitty driving and pulled a hundred grams of weed off of him. Also, a one pound glass pipe shaped like a huge nail. No biggie. Also find weed under the other college kids in the car. Driver falls on the sword and tells me all of it is his and lets his friends walk free. I like this kid. However during the search we find packaged eddies in the cellophane of a cigarette pack with the top. Melted closed god damn it intensifies. Ask kid if has dealing eddies at school. Tell him I'm aware of the prescription pill epidemic. He says no and spins a huge yarn about how he only carries a few on him because has had his orange pill bottle stolen so many times. Kid seems like a pretty good dude. I decided to take the X-Files approach. Supervisor tells me pursue charges for dealing. Blah blah blah. I tell the kid he has one chance to prove he's telling the truth. Shows me the broken glass under his driver's seat from a vehicle burglary. Gotta do better. I follow behind him back to his dorm. He lets me in and shows me the busted foot locker he kept them in under his bed. Dunno. Kinda weak. Supervisor's telling me to hurry and undrop the axe. Tell him to do better. He calls one of the soccer team assistants up and we meet him in the locker room. Shows me the little wooden locker which has a broken lock. Eh. Assistant coach tells me they have replaced the lock on his cabinet three times. Campus security has numerous reports of medicine theft from this kid. Nice. I call supervisor up and tell him I have no grounds to pursue delivery charges. Poor bastard just kept getting his Adderalls jacked, and being the big dumb meatball he was, he started packaging them like that. I end up talking to his best friend breaking up a house party a couple months later. Friend tells me kid is a stand up guy, who only uses weed due to extreme anxiety, totally believable from my interaction with him, and has never sold anything in his life. Friend thanked me and told me his buddy spoke well of me. Friend also tells me he had to drive his buddy to the hospital a few hours after I left from a panic attack due to the whole incident. I felt bad for the kid. So now, whenever I see him smoking up in his car in the mall parking lot I just wave. Asterisk THANKS for the gold. I'm on it, but it's not needed. Put it in a savings account. Money is a B to get, so hold on to it. If you have to part with it, donate it to Street. Jude's Children Research Hospital. They do good stuff there. Copier. 
got a call of a domestic dispute that sounded very heated and a lot of banging was heard. Get to scene and I can hear someone yelling and swearing and brawling. Doesn't sound good at all. Guy answers the door, shirt off and angry, but seems bewildered as to why police had been called. He told me he was building IKEA furniture, sounds like the most bull poo thing. But, we enter, see the new IKEA furniture half set up and no one else is home. Color me surprised. Thank you for watching Ready Reddit. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more r slash ask Reddit videos. Share your stories in the comment section below.